Hey guys! Hi! Welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to be talking to you about our everyday kind of jewellery. It seemed like a bit of a weird one for yeah. us, but it has been requested so many times by you guys, so we thought, why not keep it simple? Show you kind of our bits we wear day in, day out, because I would say, and I think you're the same, is that we kind of have a few bits that we love that we never take off. I'm not yeah, one always. for like wearing loads of different rings, change them each and every day because I just don't. Of course we've got those jazzy bits yeah. that we pull out. And statement earrings and things. Exactly, but, but this is our true everyday. I mean, most of it I actually sleep in, do you? Yeah, I never take it off. There's a few things I take off, but um, yeah, so... We thought we would kind of, I mean, we haven't rehearsed this at all. It's really impromptu. Off we're just going to kind Talk of go through, through it and s tell you guys when we bought the it. Story the story behind, behind it. it. And you will be won't be surprised to know that we've pretty Most much got the same. same. Um, so where should we start? Should we start with our ears? Do you want to go first? So ears. What I mean, a beautiful ears ear you've got. always really weird to film. Um, so my earrings, I've got diamond studs. And then I've got, per which you also yeah. have personalized diamond an a there for alfie and a p there for me and where are the a and so, from the a and the p so the p i bought myself how long ago about five years went into liberty and i saw them they're by a designer called kcd design they weren't crazy crazy money and i think something had just happened i was still working at u magazine at the time it was obviously way before alfie and i thought you know what why can't i Treat buy myself yourself. A diamond. Who says I can't? So I went off and I bought myself my diamond P earring. Beautiful. And then this one, A, my sister and brother-in-law bought me for my 30th birthday. Obviously I'd had Alfie that year and so instantly all I wanted was everything personalised with A. Forget P. Yeah, so I don't really, to be honest actually, I don't really wear the P that much anymore. Not every day. No, <laughs> well... <laughs> I do, but like, yeah. you know when you're having a shower and you take your yeah. earrings out, do you do that? No. Do they not get really dirty? Yeah, probably why they're not <laughs> so sparkly. Um, but I definitely go to the A more than the P. And then my diamond studs also from my mum and my grandma for my 30th, because that's the other thing. All of our everyday jewellery is quite special stuff. That for special occasions. For, for special occasions, so... Um, but I think we, you, yeah, did you get yours I got my diamond studs for my 30th, but I think we got them for special occasion, but we like to wear them all the time because if you save everything, then you never, we wear, never it. wear it. And our studs, they're not big enough that you feel uncomfortable wearing no. them every day, but they're a nice size. Um, and they're just easy. Yeah. And you don't, I don't even think about no. them. So I've got also diamond Who studs. Them for you? My, well, my father in law's a jeweler. So handy, handy, and then I've also obviously got an S here. I don't even remember when I got mine. I feel like I bought it on Black Friday. So no, I know exactly. You got yours. No, I know exactly when you bought yours. You bought yours when Lucy and Ollie bought me my A. Did I? Yeah. I had it before that when I was at ITV. No, I'm sure you did. I bought it on Black Friday. Yeah, but my birthday's in December. Black Friday's November. Yeah, so they probably December the 11th. They probably bought it a couple of weeks before my birthday. I do, I remember that. A couple of years ago. Who remembers? And then I've got a diamond bar that was from, oh, it's oh. from a website. We did a little collaboration with them. I don't know if you can see. And it's like a really like a dainty bar. Di dainty diamond bar. So that's our ears. Okay, so, I mean, obviously you've seen us wear these a gazillion times since we got them. For those of you that don't know, these gold chunky initial necklaces come from Celine. But they're a lot of money. And we were umming and ahhing, do we? Sold don't out. We? But don't also we, I feel we? like something like this, you don't Here's need a trend to... trend piece. Right. Next season, old news. So you definitely just do not need to spend a lot of money. And there's so many people that were doing Inspired by PCs. Yes. And they do and the trip. Found, did she get in contact? Yes. So Nellen Digby, um, she makes these fab um, necklaces. I don't know about you. So yours actually is smaller. Yeah, so this is a new smaller one. size and that's the original larger size. Yeah. They're just really easy. I think they're 30, 25, 30 pounds. They're a really great price. And why I love them is that they, sorry, I did just eat a load of chocolate before I started filming this. Um, they, I feel like they bring an outfit together. Instantly jam something up. So if you're wearing yeah. those plain pieces, I feel like you just want to put the necklace on and you and feel done. And all of a sudden just does something there. 
but I don't know if you do this, but it came with quite a chunky gold chain, which I wasn't so fond of. So I found an old oh, really? thinner chain no, mine's and I put it on there. But actually I like your one. It wasn't like that. It was oh, a lot thicker. Maybe the larger size has a larger yeah. chain. But these obviously aren't gold, so we wouldn't shower in these and we wouldn't no, wear I them No, I take this and I wouldn't sleep in that. No, <laughs> could you imagine like choking the night? But kind of underneath, I'll, I'll put this away and I'll get out my everyday piece. Yeah. Oh, where is it? So this is from Aurum and Grey, who is a wonderful friend of mine and she makes the most gorgeous jewellery. Um, and it's all really fine and it's really like lovely initials and just gorgeous pieces that you kind of want to wear every day. So this is an L and a G. I don't know if you can see. They are for, so pretty. For Lenny Grey. Really gorgeous. So I kind of, I got this when he was born and I literally haven't taken it off since. And why I love Aurum and Grey is because it's so dainty, so fine, but the obviously the gold that she uses yeah it's so shiny it, yeah it never tarnishes it never and, and the chain is so beautiful and the prices are really good it's yeah i think this is a couple of hundred pounds or not even that maybe i always tell if someone asks me like gifts gift ideas always. i always tell them to look at orum and gray because she's kind of a little bit off the radar so it's nice to find pieces and it's that, wrapped beautifully yeah, with oh, gray it's like gorgeous and like gray rose wrapping. gold and it's just it really, really lovely special. i feel like it's so simple that it's a piece that you would always want to wear like i don't think you could ever get bored of it yeah i've got a similar one but mine has she does these other ones where you can have and I don't know if you can add charms to it. So I've got an AA piece, so Alex, Alfie and Philippa. Um, and they're really cute. They kind of like dangle. dangle. So you could have something spelled out. Yeah. Um, so it's really All good. If you haven't checked it out, you should definitely check that out. So I know a lot of you guys have seen this. My diamond mama necklace, which I have worn absolutely every single day. I wear it in the shower. I never take it off. I sleep in it. It's, I just love it and I almost feel a bit lost without it. Um, it. And obviously love that it says mama and so many people. It's a bit different, isn't it's it? It's really different, but they, so it's, I don't even know if I mentioned this, it's from Lola Rose. Um, and they do all different um, quotes. You, you've got I've got loved, loved. And they do yay and I think cool. Dazzled yeah. or, I mean, really fun things but as well. But it's special because it's diamonds, isn't it? So yeah. as much as it's a bit of fun, it's got it's special, it feels at the same special. Time. so you can get rose gold i've got yellow gold or white gold um but i like the i like the yellow gold with and the it diamonds. hangs nicely yeah because sometimes when things spell something out they, they're too weighty they don't lay nicely and it does look really nice i, I wouldn't wear it with the p so but we just wanted to show you i wanted to show you this p necklace but it does look really nice on your skin sorry so that's our necklaces, that's necklaces. so wrists we've got a bit of an arm party going on here um and you can't even see that was helpful so here is our little arm party we both have got a vintage rolex i want to hear your same. story first so my i got mine for my 30th and you got yours for like your 25th didn't you good question yeah I you got yours for the 25th and I, I was young you were young <laughs> And I remember I wanted to get one, my husband was getting me one for my 30th and I loved your bronzy colour. So I literally searched it out and it, you can see here it's got like a bronzy face. And yours, I think, is yours exactly the same? I think it's a bit darker. It's literally exactly the same. So you can't really see it. But it's a bit different um, and it's the larger kind of, ma is it the smallest man yeah, size? Yeah, so a lot of people actually email, uh, message us and ask what size this is. So they do, I think four sizes now so they do the classic women lady size which is quite small um, the larger ladies then no 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 then this one right then they do like the um man size what do you think they do two lady sizes yeah i think they do a small one because a friend has got you're the right they do they do like a really mini one yeah. then the bigger lady one then this, then our one and, and then, then the they man. do the new man one um and then also here we have oh a Tiffany, T Tiffany bangle, which we worked on a little co collaboration with them, which we both have in rose gold. And I'd like to say that we quite love mixing up our ma metals, don't we? So, But also, but because our face is bronze, that's why I think it looks nice yeah. with rose gold. But also gold as well. I, li yeah, I like it all mixed it looks together. Good. Then, and also because, um, yeah, the watch is silver. So. Then we've got a diamond hexagon bracelet there. 
Safira. Safira. It's just a local, um, a lovely girl that lives kind of near us and she makes gorgeous diamond pieces and we just love this rectangle. So that's that. It's not a rectangle, babe. Sorry, hexagon. <laughs> Clearly I don't know my shapes. Then I've actually got another gold bangle here with two diamonds that my mum got me for my 30th, I think. I think it was your 30th. Yep, yeah, so I kind of just wear them all together. And then I'll let you tell the story of the red Cartier, Cartier string bracelet. So before Sarah went off to have her baby, obviously a lot of you know that falling pregnant with Sarah wasn't the easiest journey. And when she obviously did and then leaving to have the baby, we felt like we wanted to buy something. as almost like a, a celebration. Like a push present to, to like each, other. each other to like mark the amazing occasion and the milestone and everything. So um, we were... Well, we, we were going to buy the um, the love bangle. And then we were kind of a bit like... It's quite a lot of money. Okay, maybe we won't. So we went to Cartier together and we both really loved the friend. It's the, the friendship, friendship bracelet. bracelet, yeah. And what's genius about it is you can go into any Cartier store or um, like within department, like in Selfridges, anytime you want. And you can have the thread changed any colour, anytime, anytime. For free. For free. So, so this great. is the classic Cartier yeah. red, but they do black, yellow, orange, green, purple, white, every single colour you could imagine. Um, but I quite like the red. Feels... We like the red because it, I don't know, it's it feels the Cartier lucky. red. Yeah. Um, and so again, I shower in it, yeah. swim in it on holiday. I never take it off. Um, and it's, so yeah, it's our very special friendship bracelet, which we bought for each other. Um, and yeah. it Means represents a lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> What's on your other wrist? wrist? Um, right, so my other wrist over here. So obviously Sarah has just shown you the hexagon, <laughs> hexagon. hexagon bracelet from Safira. Then my very special red A bracelet from this very special lady here for my 30th from Orem and Grey. I of course, where else will I buy a present from? Absolutely adore it. Um, so yeah, I'm 31, so I've worn it for a year and a half. Every single solitary day, never taken it off. Great. It has a little bit, it's stretched a little bit, yeah. but I almost, it was always quite big for me yeah. anyway, wasn't it? But I like it that way, I like how it dangles. Um, and of course it's got the A on it, love that. Now, the love bangle. So, the story of the love bangle is this. We were obviously going to buy it for each other. Then we didn't. We bought the friendship... Had we bought the friendship no. bracelets? We hadn't bought the friendship bracelets yet. Um, so in our heads at the, that time, which was last May... Yeah. Because you was were leaving... early? Yeah, because you left to have Lenny in August. Yeah. I went to Dubai in May. Yeah. And so we were going to buy each other these... The new one, by the way. So it's the thinner bangle that they launched... Fairly, not that long ago actually. I don't know exactly when. So it's probably about half the price of the um, the big chunky one, but still crazy, crazy money. And I was going away with Alex for our anniversary and he hadn't bought me a gift yet. And we were just together. It was our first holiday without Alfie. We were in the airport and I said to him, I just want to go try it on because Sarah and I are going to buy these bangles for each other. Um, uh -uh. And I want to try them on to see what it looks like on. I'd never actually seen it in real life. So quite literally went in, tried it on, obviously loved it, wanted it, but thought, no, going to buy it with Sarah. Went up to Wagamama for dinner before our flight. And he is a bit of a romantic, but this just... I mean, honestly, I, but I was so scared to tell Sarah. <laughs> yeah, the text. I was so you nervous. Told them both of you. Anyway, so he he said that he was going to go to the toilet, and ten minutes later he comes up with a red Cartier bag, and I so swear sweet. to God, I felt like he was proposing yeah. to me again. I've said to him every time we go away, he needs to buy set, something he set special. He's set now. But I literally, as I as he took, I was like. No! What's Sarah going to oh, say? Well, She's going to be so upset. Anyway, don't you. worry. There was a happy end to the story. Yeah, she got one too, don't worry. Yeah. Anyway, that was the longest... Mm -hmm. This is what happens. That I just go good. on such Anyway, so on your other wrist... So I've got it. You've got three. I've got my bangle. And then, then I did feel really nervous. But, but it was fine because lovely Craig got it for me when I pushed Lenny out. <laughs> so we're all good. We're matching in that department. 
That's our wrists. That's Do our you wrists. want to go for rings? That was really quick. I feel like there's is there nothing else? There's on your... nothing else on my wrist. I've okay. only got the I've only got this. Interesting that you wear that just one on its own. I know. I like things you've got my watch. Yeah. I prefer that. See, I feel like you could you could I move know, things but over. I just I'm you into like this. On its own. I'm into it. It's special, so it yeah. does deserve time. Its own and place. Things. Rings. You go. I feel like I just did so. I'm okay, out of so en my engagement ring's fine. Then on this hand, Do I talk about your engagement. Oh, that, that's not your engagement ring. No. <laughs> anyway, long story short, I actually can't get my engagement ring back on my finger at the moment. This is an antique from my father-in-law um, that I always loved in his shop, and there's not much of a story behind it. Other it's, than it's beautiful. It's beautiful and it's very special. It's like a champagne diamond. So what, do you not wear a wedding band? No, just, it's quite chunky. So I feel like I just, he knows I'm married to him. <laughs> anyway, so engagement ring, engagement ring. Mm -hmm. Then this hand, I'm going to start with my most favorite piece, mm -hmm. which is our dreams ring that we created with Lola Rose and Future, Future Dreams, Dreams charity, where all proceeds go to support breast cancer. Um, and it's 56 diamonds, it's 195 pounds. I feel like you need to tell the story about how, where it came from. Oh yes, yeah, where it came yeah. from! Okay, so anyway, we... <laughs> oh dear. We both had a diamond circle ring. Both bought from us, from our husbands. Before that, we knew each before other. Before we knew each other. That we this both is had, like how freaky our lives are. Um, that were both necklaces. Like a, imagine like a, like a diamond, diamond circle, circle necklace. necklace. So rewind, forget this for a moment. And I had an idea that I wanted to change. I didn't wear the necklace anymore, but I wanted to make it into a ring like this. So I got my father-in-law to do it and he made it into a ring. And it was before like the Monica, Nade, Monica Veneda round rings. It was quite Wait, a different- how long were we talking? Years, this was years ago. Seven years ago. Yeah. So I had it made into a ring. We were so ahead of our time. I know. And Phil's also had the necklace. And I said to her- you've I was to... never wearing it. Yeah. And I said to her, you've got to make it into a ring as well. And she said, oh, do you mind? Do you mind? I said, of course not. Anyway, so then she also had the original diamond ring. Made and they were exactly it. the same necklaces. And it kind of became our signature thing, whereas everyone knew that we were Sarah and Philippa from We Are Twin Set because, because of, of our ring. circle rings. And we would always, always get stopped. So everyone would ask, oh, where are your where rings from? It was so different. Like no one else had done them before. Um, so that was the original ring. And then when we met with Lola Rose and Future Dreams and we really wanted to do something really special to kind of raise money and raise awareness. But and also represent us. us. Yeah, we wanted to do a project that just felt like us that would have a huge kind of response to people. So what do people really want? So Philippa actually came up with the idea of making a, a dreams ring. So it was a copy of our diamond ring, more affordable, that Equally was our main sparkly, thing. and but what we loved that it represented was the whole circle of life and the fact that it's a beautiful piece of jewelry with such an important meaning. So if you wear it and you you buy it for someone that you know who's got breast cancer, or if you have breast cancer, it's something that you can look down on as a beautiful symbol, but also as a reminder to check yourself, to check yourself um, and to just to be aware. And and we've had, I mean, honestly, I like when I think about it now, I shiver, but like it, so many incredible messages of, you know, sisters that have bought for like all three of their sisters and their mum that had breast cancer. And it's like a really nice symbolic and a almost a bit like an eternity yeah ring. and also who says you can't buy yourself diamonds so whether it was bought for yourself or for a friend it's just something really special that means a lot and that hopefully will make you think to check yourself yeah. or to be aware of your boobs and yeah it was i think it was a really proud moment really, and also for us. It sold and out the first two launches yeah sold out i think they're still away. on pre-order now yeah. so you still can get your hands on them we don't make any money from it all proceeds go to charity and it's my most favorite because it means a lot and and fyi we haven't actually mentioned this everything that we have mentioned we'll uh, yeah. tag it below i know a lot of people still get confused about where to find yeah. these links so literally just below here there's a little arrow if you press that it will drop down a whole we'll link our jumpers and all our jewelry oh yeah you can't really see oh, hello <laughs> um 
so yeah so if you do want to look at the dreams ring we will um, yeah. link that below i just want to actually slightly interrupt you um i wear mine and a lot of people say oh but your one isn't the one that's on the website it is it's two separate rings but I quite like mixing it with that plain gold band and it's just a really simple... And you can see the bit of gold through the yeah, circle. Yeah, I like it. I think it adds a bit of a difference to it. Um, it's just a plain gold band from Thomas Sabo. So that's my little interpretation of it. Beautiful. Um, and then we do wear quite a lot of rings. Um, I've just got a thin diamond band here that... Was Where's that one from? My father-in-law, it was a, well, my husband got it for me. It was a birthday gift a few years ago. So it's just a really thin diamond band um, to kind of wear on my index finger. And then I've got here. I love that one. Meanwhile, um, where's your, you're not wearing your. Oh, no, that's my favourite one. Or the wee ring. Yeah. So this is just a really thin chain. Oh, I've got such chubby fingers. And it's got a tiny diamond that my mum bought me, um, for a birthday as well um, and I love so this it. is it's what really I mean every birthday we <laughs> yeah we do we a special invest. birthday do you know what's really actually really scary our next special birthday is our 40th don't what are we gonna do for that hey oh my God. A big oh. celebration I'm, I'm a bit before you <laughs> um so it's just a really fine gold chain with like a really small diamond um that I always just wore on my little finger but I do also have the Dior Wee Ring yeah I love that where is it but the thing was what I found now it was getting caught on like Lenny's blanket or like when I was picking him up it was getting like tangled and it was just really stressing me out so I'm not wearing it at the moment can I wear it okay <laughs> Not really. Um, so I'm just wearing this at the moment because I always, I don't know, I quite like wearing three rings on this on this hand. Over My to you. little Alfie ring. Oh, sorry, that looks like I've got, I'm doing something rude there. <laughs> um, so this Alfie ring is from a lovely jewellery designer called Sydney Evan. Years and years and years ago, pre probably Instagram, I loved, I don't know if you guys remember, the original diamond love ring years ago we're talking i was young obviously never bought it it was crazy money even at the time um and then it was obviously my birthday last my 31st and so i asked alex my mum and my grandma and i put money towards it as well because i had a look at her um instagram account and i saw that she not only just does the um the diamond love rings she also does personalized rings i don't actually know how many letters you can get but i imagine you can probably Break get the whole thing around. Worse, um which i loved um and you can get again rose gold yellow gold and how silver. come you cho chose silver rather than yellow gold good question well i was in my head thinking please god when i've got my second child i'd probably have a different color for that child would you wear it on top of it no, probably have to maybe this finger. But um, yeah, I went for white gold just because I, I don't know. And maybe I, I thought the sh it would be shinier with the diamonds. I wasn't too sure. I just- I love it. I really, nice. really love it. Um, so and yeah. you order it from America? That was the other thing. I had to order it online. So I had to measure my finger, which was a bit scary. Um, but I think I got it right. My fingers are a bit swollen and I'm really, really hot right now. I think it's that tea. Um, <laughs> But it worked out fine. Yeah, I ordered it online. Um, and yeah, so that's my um, little Alfie ring there. Well, You're been... wearing your wedding band. And my wedding band, because I am married a good wife. <laughs> under, I don't know if this is every religion or maybe just Jewish, but when you get married um, under a Jewish, what we call like a chuppah, which is the ceremony basically, you ha everyone has to get married with a plain band so you can't get married with a diamond band by law the jewish law um so obviously both we both got married with a plain white gold platinum whatever it is band and then for my first anniversary alex bought me that one that's nice so that's a little story do you still have your yeah it's upstairs band? i used to wear it on a um band around my neck but thank you don't anymore i still have mine somewhere it's um, tiny it's so small obviously they had tiny fingers back then <laughs> Now you're older. <laughs> Chunkier. 
Anyway, <laughs> we digress. That's that. That's that. I mean, I don't know how interesting that is, but, but I guess a lot of you so wanted many to questions and people wanted to know it. about the colour of our watches and a bit more about our rings yeah. and about our earrings. We just thought, and sharing some of our favourite designers, because actually if you do want to buy a special piece of jewellery, it's nice to know kind of where to look, something a bit different. Absolutely. Um, so we hope you loved it and we'd love to hear your feedback below. So just... You can use the arrow down, you can see all our links and feel free to leave a comment or a like. And if you do leave, leave a comment and you have any other any other ideas of things that you want to see from us, um, please comment below because it's the best way for us to pick it up to see what kind of thing you guys are wanting to see. And um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.